In the New Order Major update, we've been treated to five new mushrooms in Dinkum. These are the Yellow Moral, the Field Mushroom, the Red Roundhead, the Milk Cap, and the Slippery Jack. Let's go to the chopper and show you where you can find them. As you might expect, these mushrooms will only spawn during the month of autumn and must be harvested before the clock strikes 12, or you'll end up having shriveled up sad looking mushrooms. When will Jack come? If you know that reference, let me know in the comments. If you're after the Slippery Jack, these can be found in the tropical areas, but of course, watch out for the Scary Moo. I know they're called Wary Moo, but I'm just having some fun. No moral to the story in this one, but the cool looking moral will be found in the pine forest areas and again, might have to contend with more creatures that attack. I win this round, devil. If you're looking for the somewhat rare red roundhead, these will be found along the muddy banks of the mangroves. Head out to the more common biome of bushlands and the plains, which is where you'll find two different types of mushrooms, which will spawn depending on the earth that they're in. Both spawn near trees, but the field mushroom tends to grow on grassy areas, whereas the milk cap will be found growing in the red dirt. Here's an example of two different mushrooms spawning in adjacent biomes of the bushland and neighboring pine forest. Who's the force, Luke? I mean, Lexi. It shouldn't be any surprise, but there is a new soup that we can prepare at the cooking tables, which gives us some decent buffs. Just make sure you get a good stash going. You can, of course, make use of it by eating them straight too. There are five new recipes to learn to craft of the equivalent of the glowing mushroom lamp. Not only do these give a decent amount of light, but they bring their own ambiance. If you do decide to play God and use dev commands, once the mushrooms are withered for a day, they're withered. No bringing them back from the dead. You can even make cool looking shroom baskets. Thanks heaps to Sem who joined in a stream recently and educated me on the items you can make. Using a machine manual, you can hold it against the food modeler to reveal what items it takes. No shocks that mushrooms are accepted as an item. So add a batch of five mushrooms of your choice to make a basket and plonk them wherever it makes sense. And if that's not cool enough, we can also get mushroom stools. Don't they look cool? To get these, grab yourself some fertilizer, dig a hole, drop a mushroom and fill the hole. Do the same with a the fertilizer. Then sleep the night and the next day you'll have given birth to a stool. Ew, that sounds weird, but you know what I mean though. Not only does the fertilizer turn the mushroom into a stool, but it makes a mega tree. Check out the size of it. And better still, if done next to a tree, you can get two for the price of one. Now I sound like one of those cheesy TV salesmen. If you call in the next five minutes, we'll give you a free tree stump too. I'm a shouty man, and have you hit the like button yet? All right, tone it down, Alexi. And it's not immediately obvious, but you can use the mushrooms as cool looking hats. I'm too sexy for my hat. Too sexy for my hat. What you think about that? And I'm too sexy for this VOD.